Well, hello everybody again. And uh, isn't this the most hideous thing you've ever seen? Sanyo Music Centre. Given to me for some strange reason. Probably came out of a skip, which is where it belongs. I suppose the only interesting point about it is it's got a 8-track player which I can't test because I have no 8-tracks tapes and I'm not going to be buying any it's highly unlikely it still works that bit of it anyway and it's got a record deck of course and a radio in it I don't know when it was made probably early 70s before cassettes were more common so let's turn it on turn the volume down uh, it's on FM I've got a roll of solder over there as an aerial so that should work fine and as well including Axel the Muscovy Duck Yesterday I promised you an expert, and I have an expert. It does appear to work on FM. I've had six more. Right. All right, two. Everybody loves the sunshine. In the very far. But when Max Meinhardt, who's a very unbelievably important German director, let well, us be maximum volume. Finally, the translation by the Regis Professor of Greek at Oxford, Gilbert Murray, by a lot of clout. Scratchy controls, but maximum volume is uh, not very loud, is it? Is that the best it can manage, or has it got a fault on it? I'm going to suggest that not only, and, and I would not be the first to say It's probably normal. It's probably as the most it can manage. Who knows? Because it's the same on both channels, indicating it's not a... I suppose it could be a pass by fault. Don't know. Try medium wave. Person, I've run my own HR business. Two businesses. Ah, that's a fair bit louder. I don't think it could be longer than that, and for a lot of people, I mean, that's horrendous anyway, but for a lot of I'd say that's more like what it should be like, so maybe FM's not working very well. And by the way, um, FM stereo, the light doesn't light up, but that may be the fact that there's not enough signal coming in. Try long life, which is on its way out now. From 1880. Oedipus has been played by perhaps the greatest uh, 19th century French, French <coughs> actor called Jean Mounet Sully. Yeah, and that's working Sully, fine. Mounet Sully and actually, the. Uh, seems to confirm a lot of. The display. Freud himself had thought is indicating there. exactly where and it should be, 1500 metres. As was the uh, FM. Uh, when he grew up in. Oh, yes. so in way Ninety-eight. It's about radio one frequency. So that is working. Let's try. Let's try phono. Well, that works. I have to get a record. Uh, let me see if I can find a record. Oh, before I get a record for it to try on it. This is the bat, and that was, as you can see, completely broken off where it hinges. I've glued it with uh, super glue, but um, I highly doubt it will survive the first opening or closing. But you never know, it might do. Anyway, let's go and find a record for it. Okay, here we have a record. Sparks, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. One of my favourite records from 1974. 
Ah, oh, that was a long time ago. Very successful band in the UK were Sparks, even though they came from Los Angeles. So anyway, let's stick it on there. And 45. Uh, how do you start this up? Is there a little lever there? Which does nothing. Doesn't go that way. Doesn't do anything that way. I presume you have to pick it up then. No, it doesn't like that. That's not very nice of it. Just wants to turn off. Let's try it again. Turn table moves. Mm, that's more successful. This seems to work fairly well, surprisingly. Try not to play too much of it. Um, might be a bit of warble due to speed problems, but I think considering how old it is, that works fairly well. Hmm, strange thing this, you would expect it to be like an auto start, but it seems to be the opposite. Well, what happens when it gets to the middle of the track? End of the track. Nearly finished. Come on, get on with it. Yeah, it works. That's quite amazing. Okay. I don't know what I'll do with it now. Take it apart, I think. See if I can get the FM working. So I've strung up a better FM aerial so the, oh, the, there, hanging from the window, I don't think it's made any difference, I think it's just lacking in sensitivity and your family, as I'm on stereo still there. and I've got no stereo so though. So I don't believe it's working in stereo. Uh, many of them have been staying there they're really unable to leave. It's I guess really it needs to be taken people. apart if I can face it. But these controls need cleaning up anyway. And so this is why they're not too bad some of them. The balance the is the worst one. And now they also lose their homes. So this, um, um, another thing that I think is not yet widely discussed apart. everywhere, but is it? Okay, well, that put up a bit of a struggle getting that apart. I thought the bottom might come off, but no, it doesn't. I eventually managed to lever the top off. This is what we've got. And uh, surprisingly, the belt looks quite good on the uh, A-Truck. Uh, not too interested in that. What else we got in here? That's the uh, tuner section. And... <coughs> that is... Um, Quite bizarre. I have what looks like a fan. How bizarre. How does that do or anything now? Mm, very strange. 
very strange indeed. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Is that somehow driven off the turntable? Can't see how it can be. It has no wires to it and there's no motor. Mm -hmm. I'll give up on that one. Um, what else we got on here? Some that's a power supply. Four seventy microfarad capacitors. Not very big, are they? I don't quite know what that is. Uh, could be the AM, IF, something like that. It's pretty, fairly horrible anyway. And that's the power amplifier at the back. Initially I thought it was just these two transistors driving the speakers, but there's some bigger ones that bolted onto the metal bracket. So, that's the way it works. Uh, I have to think about this, it's um, hard to know what to do. Not to do anything at all. <clears throat> well, I can clean the uh, potentiometers with switch cleaner. That'd be something that I don't have to think about too hard. Okay, well, I've done a bit of um, research. Well, sort of. And. Uh, Uh, bugger. Main supply rail is 19 volts. It's a single ended supply. So, in other words, no positive and negative. It's all running on single positive supply. So, 19 volts. If you were there, it equates to maximum of 5 watts into 8 ohms but I think it should be louder than it is back on FM at the moment I'm going to have a tweak let's go for this one Scheme includes cards and other products. So you're telling me that Fens has everything I need for the weekend, all with big savings off the RRP? Yeah. maximum volume. It's not exactly impressive, is it? Starts tomorrow evening at 7.15. On Radio 4. Available now on BBC Sounds. Better on long way. Still doesn't sound like 5 watts, though. BBC News at 2 o'clock. The Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, has said a British national was among a group... I got a bit more out of it by tweaking the IF. The authorities in Kherson in southern Ukraine say at least three people have been injured by Russian shelling as efforts to evacuate people from flooding continue. President Zelensky has visited the region to see... That's a lot louder than it was. I think that's the best I'm going to get out of this thing. 
It's um, not terribly impressive. I expect you to discuss the regulation of artificial intelligence after Rishi Sunak announced... Oh, that's stereo light. Exciting. Got an orange light now. Since I tweaked it. World Cup winner Alexis McAllister. Uh, the next hours of music on radio. Yes, the global from technology. Well, it's tough. It's tough as a post, isn't it? So what's happening? Role in this and our ability to move quickly to put re uh, regulation in place is really important in an industry and technology that itself is changing very rapidly. I'll be discussing that with President Biden today. I'm delighted the US is supporting our summit. The program for this year's Edinburgh we could do it in Grange Farm Bar. Right. A bit more tweaking, and I think it's as good as it's going to get. FM's as good as. Medium and long wave now. From the young farmers to cheer you on. <laughs> I could do that. Now, are you sure you could keep it up for an hour, though, George? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds all right now. Well, I've got an auxiliary signal going in there from that thing up there. The reason why the industry's found is difficult at times. Um, no. Bloody loud. Loud as it's going to get. As good as it gets. So I don't think there's much more I can do with it. It's not going to be any better. It probably needs new capacitors in the audio amplifier. Which is never going to happen. It's just not worth the money. This thing here is still an absolute mystery. What does it do? It hasn't got a belt on it, so it can't be a fan, but it looks like a fan. How does it connect up to the top bit, if it does at all? I don't know whether it does or not. Um, I think I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to shove it all back together. Clean the controls. Maybe it'll find a home somewhere. Back in the skip, hopefully. And that's... Um, let's put it all back together anyway. Right, I was going to just try the uh, A-Track player. So I switched it to tape. There's a red light on there. Oh, yeah, you can change your... And the head moves. Have a look in there. Yeah, it's moving up and down nicely. But, um... It appears to be a micro switch here to sense the... Uh, tape going in and it is doing what it's supposed to do I suppose but I have no way of testing it other than that let's get it all back together right it's all back together and amazingly this hasn't broken yet I don't think I'll stand much though before it breaks again and I could give it a good clean but I'm not going to because it's just not worth the effort unless somebody particularly wanted it. So, that's the end of this one. Bye for now.